Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is part 11 of Chess with React. In this part, we are going to take a look at the en passant. En passant is a special move that is carried out by only the pawn. And it's like this. Let me go to the chess.com and terms and en passant. There will be a link to this uh, article here if you want to read more about it. So en passant is like this. So let's say we are in a situation like this. Let's wait. So the pawn, enemy pawn is here and we are here one file apart and they move it twice and we can capture it like this as if the pawn has moved only once. Okay, so let's go and uh, write the code. Uh, the first thing is that we obviously need to know the previous position. So let me grab it. Use it here in the get pawn captures. This comes from the arbiter, so it needs to be aware of that, like so. And the function that uh, calls this one is on the piece here. So here, previous position is uh, just one step backwards, like so. So we have this in place. Now let's write the uh, code, not here, but here. So let's say on pawn. We need to know the enemy pawn. Is it a white pawn or is it black pawn? So we look at the DIR. If we are going up, like so, then the enemy pawn is a black pawn. So in this scenario, it's a black pawn. Otherwise, it's a white pawn. And then we take a look at the previous position. If there is a previous position, then we would go forward. So for example, in uh, move one, that there is no previous position, we don't need to check this one. Then we need to check that if Let's say like this, if we are on the fifth rank and the enemy has moved twice. So that's the thing that we need to check. So if uh, the IR is one, if it's our turn and, and the rank is four, then it's white turn and the pawn is on rank four or rank five because we're starting from zero here. If this or for black it's uh, the IR is minus one and the rank is three so if one of these two then we are talking about a pawn that is on rank five now we want to check that if the enemy pawn is here and this space is empty in the current position and in the previous position there was nothing here and the pawn was here. So basically meaning that this pawn has moved from here to here. Okay, this can be done in uh, four steps. So I can check at the position rank and file minus one to the left. If this is an uh, enemy pawn and Two squares ahead is now empty and the reverse for the previous position and so let's say previous position of rank and file is file minus one is was empty and here we had the enemy pawn so if this big if has happened then we can do the push so moves that push rank plus the ir and file minus one like so what's the error here i don't need 
this yeah okay now it's correct then I need to do the same thing this is for uh, left so capturing like this for right it's the same thing instead of file minus one we need to say file plus one so instead of doing two for loops I would say that uh, let's say adjacent files are then one file minus one and the other one is file plus one and uh, here just sent files dot for uh, let's say f for file and we would do this if inside instead of file minus one I would say that f like so okay let's go and see if this is working let's move here do this here here and yeah I can capture it like this but still if I go here this pawn still remains uh, let's check it other way around yeah this is working as well let's do something else like this now I can capture this way but not this way anymore awesome so this is working and uh, now I need to remove this pawn so let's go and write that part so in the pieces here when the capture happens that we are doing some changes here uh, I just need to check that if I have captured an empty space or not with a pawn so I would say that uh, if P here which means our piece so if P dot uh, ends with P and the new position at X and Y so the destination that the pawn is going is an empty space and x is not the same as rank and file is not the same as uh, sorry y is not the same as file then we need to say that this position should be empty as well so new position at rank which is our current rank and then y the file that we are going to this should be empty as well so let's go and see if we go here to this to this to this so what happens now now it, it shouldn't be like this I should remove this now it should work so if this 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 then and capturing like this and this will disappear cool so let's do it the to the right yes let's do it one more time for black and Poisson should be here not here and yes it's working fine okay so this is working cool let me put a comment here saying that on Poisson looks like we are capturing an empty square okay but the only thing that I want to do is do some changes here on the arbiter 
and uh, you know because we are have we're going to have more special moves so i want to uh, differentiate between the regular moves and captures and so on so it becomes uh doesn't become so messy so i would uh, define something called get valid moves and this should uh, take the same thing this will say that moves is uh, get regular moves and passing out these values to it and then we would add this part which is the pound to this one so if piece ends with p which means it's a pound then we can take a look at capture so moves equals whatever the regular moves that pound can do and yes get capture moves uh, get pound captures yep and uh, these values and in the end we just return the moves so here I don't need to have this part this is a very this is much simpler now this doesn't need the previous position and we shouldn't pass it here as well and uh, let's go to the piece and instead of saying the get the get the regular moves we say get the valid moves and of course uh, it should work the same so let's check everything now uh, I messed up big time it looks like so my pawn moves work correct but if I move a piece it will remain in place okay so let's go and see what we are missing oh I need to say this is empty yep happens so now works yeah everything works thank you for watching and see you in the next video